Now, your news on the go. New developments this morning in the superintendent's saga out of Baldwinsville. That's right. The Board of Education voting 7-1 to one to bring disciplinary action against him. As of now, Jason Thompson is still suspended. But this latest move is a step required for the board if they choose to fire him. Next up, a hearing. No date for that has been set. This morning, the United County Sheriff's Office is continuing to investigate a deadly crash that took the life of a 73-year-old man. Around 5.30 Wednesday night, deputies responded to a two-car crash on Route 31 near Kelly Avenue. Police say Frederick Rissman of Verona turned into the path of a pickup. Risman was pronounced dead at the scene. A state Supreme Court judge in Syracuse is putting the brakes on any work involving plans to tear down the 81 viaduct and replace it with a community grid. This means any work initially promised this year will not happen. Those against the I-81 project claim the state's process was, quote, fatally flawed, but the DOT's project manager defends the process and worries a delay could cause taxpayers. Orange fans, get ready to get loud one last time in the Loud House this weekend. Tomorrow is SU's last home football game of the season. The Orange will tackle Florida State on Senior Day. Kickoff is 8 p.m. No ticket, no problem, because you can watch the game on the ACC Network. The Rosamond Gifford Zoo announcing the extremely rare birth of twin Asian elephants. They were born to parents Molly and Doc. Back on October 24th, over the past two weeks, the zoo's care team has been monitoring them around the clock. Elephant twins make up less than 1% of elephant births worldwide.